Welcome to our series of films showing how we can see physics at work in the atmosphere. Brought to you by the Royal Meteorological Society, Imperial College London and the Institute of Physics Environmental Physics Group. In this film, we'll be looking at how the formation of clouds is dependent on temperature changes. When a gas is trapped inside a container, it has a fixed size, its volume can't change. The temperature of the gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy of its molecules. When the pressure in the container increases, work's been done on the gas to push more air into the container, so the temperature of the gas must also increase. If the pressure in the container rises, the temperature rises. If the pressure falls, the temperature falls. In the atmosphere, there are places where the pressure is falling, maybe because the air is rising. As a result, the air will cool. Sometimes, that can make clouds form. We're going to demonstrate that now. For this experiment, you will need the following equipment. A very clean fizzy drink bottle, a bike pump with adapter, a small amount of warm water and matches. We'll use an infrared camera or thermometer to show what's happening. We need to add a small amount of water to the bottle so that there's enough water present to create the cloud. I'll give it a good swirl to wet the surface of the bottle. At the moment, the air pressure in the bottle is the same as the atmosphere outside the bottle. The bottle can be squeezed very easily. Through the infrared camera, we can see the temperature inside the bottle is also the same as the atmosphere. But if I attach the pump and start pumping air in, the pressure inside the bottle increases. Because pressure is linked to temperature, as the pressure rises, the temperature rises. This should encourage lots of evaporation. The bottle is quite firm now. I can't squeeze it at all. With the infrared camera, we can see that the gas in the bottle has also got warmer. If I let the air out suddenly, the pressure falls and the temperature goes down again. That wasn't really that spectacular. Let's see what happens if I do the same thing again, but this time add some smoke to the bottle first. You can also observe the change in temperature with a simple infrared thermometer. As the pressure and so the temperature of the air increases initially, the rate of evaporation increases, so there's lots of water vapour in the bottle. When the pressure, and therefore the temperature, drops suddenly, the rate of evaporation suddenly drops relative to the rate of condensation, and so suddenly the rate of condensation is faster than the rate of evaporation, and we get cloud droplets swarming. However, when we talk about evaporation and condensation rates, we usually mean from a flat surface. In a very large droplet or flat surface, there are many molecules binding a molecule near the surface, making it relatively hard for it to evaporate and leave the droplet. In a small droplet, there are fewer molecules binding a surface molecule in place, so evaporation is easier. This means that it's virtually impossible for a water droplet to form in a cloud. It evaporates as soon as it starts forming. However, when there's some dirt present, in this case it was smoke from the match, but in the atmosphere it could be soot from natural fires, pollen, phytoplankton, salt that's blown up from the sea, or even bacteria, water vapour can condense onto the particle and is immediately much bigger and able to survive as a droplet. These particles are called cloud condensation nuclei. People have been experimenting with cloud condensation nuclei for decades. The idea is that by adding extra nuclei to the atmosphere, you can influence when and where it rains or snows. The organisers of the Beijing Olympics spent millions of pounds trying to make sure that it didn't rain on the opening or closing ceremonies and trying to clear smog and other pollutants from the air. There isn't much evidence yet to suggest that these sorts of experiments really work. More recently, people have also looked at the possibility of making it cloudier by spraying extra salt, cloud condensation nuclei, into the atmosphere. These clouds could cool the climate while we work out what to do with the extra greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. I hope you found this experiment helpful in understanding atmospheric physics. There are more simple experiments and demonstrations on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe.